Hi Fran, hi friends and followers of Power Stories. I'm Bridget Bean. I'm going to be directing Kalamazoo at Power Stories this fall. When we are all released from quarantine, you need to come see this one. It's absolutely charming. It's starring Rick Castell and Alicia Jurassic, and it's about falling in love at an advanced age. It's really cool. The story I'm about to tell you is a true story, and it's featured in my one-woman show, Mrs. Bliss's Titanic Adventure, that you can see at the Tampa Fringe this July. And here goes. Everything in this display case belonged to one Titanic passenger, Howard Irwin. Howard Irwin was 24 and he was on an adventure traveling around the world with a friend. Not wealthy people, they were traveling in third class and having a wonderful time. Here's Howard's leather bag with letters from his girlfriend, Pearl, and postcards he collected on his journeys. Here's Howard's clarinet, he was a musician. And here are clothes, a very nice shirt and a very nice suit, high-waisted in a good lightweight wool. For just a moment, I picture our security guard in that suit and damn, he looks good. But enough of that. <laughs> Something you may not know is that leather, if properly tanned, is virtually indestructible. Back in 1912, we used to use mercury to tan leather, which is why we talk about mad hatters. They got mercury poisoning and it affected their nervous systems. But I tell you that mercury tanning was wonderful. Down at the bottom of the ocean, the bodies of the victims are long gone, but their shoes are still there, right where they fell. But there's no need to worry about Mr. Howard Irwin, though, because he survived. And here's how. Well, Howard was supposed to get on the Titanic in Southampton, but he went out the night before and got plastered on the local brown ale. Oh, well, maybe it was scrumpy. You know, that's the hard cider with lumps. Yeah, let's say scrumpy. Anyway, Southampton is a rough and ready city full of sailors who could hold their drink much better than Howard could. And so before long, Howard became completely incapacitated. He woke up the next morning on board ship with a throbbing head and two black eyes and a growing feeling of unease. He was right to feel uneasy. Turns out he wasn't on the Titanic at all. He'd been shanghaied and pressed into forced labor on a cargo ship bound for China. And so in a marvellous twist of fate, Howard Irwin misses the Titanic and ends up living a long, full life. His bad luck turned out to be good luck after all. Well, I hope you're all having a fine time hold up in your houses. I know that I'm actually appreciating this little bit of time to take a break and a breather. But I am looking forward to seeing you all um, at Tampa Fringe and then very importantly at Power Stories for Kalamazoo in the fall. Take care, be safe, be heroes. You're saving lots of lives by doing this. See you in the fall. Bye.